Ang ingay ng aso sa kapitbahay. I'm sorry about that, guys. So, pag dito tayo, mukhang seryoso yung pag-uusapan natin. Debbie Rula, legit pa yung pag-convert ng G-Gives to cash gamit yung G-Cash Pera Outlet. Yun yung pag-uusapan natin sa video na to. And many other things that you guys need to know about this method. Ang ingay, pagpasensyahan nyo na, but ang init sa loob. Sa loob. Legit ba yung pag-convert ng G ka, gives to cash gamit yung G pera outlet ni Gcash? Yes, guys. Yes. Legit na legit po siya. Yung GPO pala is one of the services na makakita nyo pag dinisplay nyo yung lahat ng services dun sa Gcash nyo. Scroll down, nasa baba. Ano to gawin? In a nutshell, kung meron kang GPO, you just need to click the dag puhunan. In fact, si Gcash mismo yung nagsabi nito na pwede mong gamitin yung Gcash wallet mo or yung Gives mo para pang dagdag. So, yung gagawin mo is click mo lang yung dagdag. Select Gives as a payment method to cash in or fund your GPO. At with Gives, pwede kang pumili ng terms, ba? So, 3 months, 6 months, 12 months. At depende na yan sa kung anong term na pipiliin mo. Then, if a finalize mo yung transaction, syempre, you'll need to consider the interest as well as the monthly payments. Of course, meron pong transaction limits kasi pag ginamit mo si G gives up to 20,000 pesos lang. And alam naman natin na G gives, pwede kang up to 3 transactions. If you have G gives credit limit that's more than 20,000, you probably need to have 2 transactions kung gusto mong ubusin lahat. But, depende na yan sa credit limit mo. Well, easier said then done. Why not? Why not convert it yourself, ba? Okay siya if meron kang ganitong feature na activated sa Gcash mo. What you need to know is that hindi ka basta-basta pwedeng maging Gcash Pera Outlet. Meron po requirements sa si Gcash para magkaroon ka ng Gcash Pera Outlet to service sa Gcash mo. Click mo lang yung view all and then scroll sa baba where you under manage and then yung Pera Outlet yun po yung i-click nyo. Pag na-click nyo, you'll see na with Gcash Pera Outlet, pang negosyo siya guys. Through which, you can do cash in, cash out, buy at bills, at pa padala services. So, bali ikaw yung magiging outlet. Ang agent, yung ganon, yung middle person. Benefits dito, meron kang kita. Libre at mabilis na pag cash in. At may free Gcash signage pang parami ng kita. So, pang negosyo talaga siya guys. And apply now. But, bago mo i-click yung apply now, kailangan alamin mo kung ano ba yung mga requirements ni Gcash dito. Uh, by the way, before we get into that, meron pong bonus kay Gcash for every transaction. Tumatanggap ka ng cash in, cash out, at bills payment. At ikaw, remittance center ka. So, pang negosyo talaga siya guys to make long story short. Pero there are requirements bago maging GPO. To apply, kailangan fully verified yung Gcash mo, which I think is simple for all of us. Lahat naman tayo siguro verified yung Gcash account, ba? Hindi lahat sa atin merong ganito. Then furthermore, Meron ka bang alinmang dokumento? So may additional requirements siya guys and it's not something that all of us have. Um, documents such as Barangay Business Permit, DTI Registration, Mayor's Permit, at ipasa ang iyong AMLA module. I don't know what that means but that is something I don't have. You probably don't have unless may business ka na in the first place meron ka ng ganito. Kung check sa'yo ang lahat, then pwede kang maging GPO. At once naka G GPO ka, then you can use GGIVS as a way to convert GGIVS to cash. So, not everybody can become a GCash Pera Outlet. So, ano yung nangyayari dito? Yung mga GCash Pera Outlet, pwede silang gumawa ng code para tumanggap sila ng G give sa ibang tao. Kasi with that code, you can say, for example, para kang nagbabayad sa kanila, Isa-scan mo yung code nila, lalabas po yung code, pwede mo gamitin si Gives, yun. And then after that, pag natanggap nila yung funds from your Gives, bibigyan ka nila, kapilit ito, bibigyan ka nila ng cash. Of course, some GPOs, meron silang hinihinging service fee. Siyempre, negosyo to guys eh. And service fee can be as high as 25%. Now, think about this, pagbabayad kita ng interest kay G, cash, magbabayad ka pa ng service fee. Okay lang sana kung medyo mabait si GPO agent na yan. Baka sabihin 5% or 500 per transaction, okay na rin siguro yan. Ha? And then, meron din limit yung transaction. According dito sa Gcash, correct me if I'm wrong, 10,000 lang po yung limit. So, okay lang. Depende sa'yo kung gusto mo i-shoulder yung service fee na ipapatong nila, it's okay. It's up to you. I have nothing against 
converting G gives to cash through the GPO because legit siya. But guys, you need to understand the risk. Kung gagawin niyo man to at wala kayong sarili ng GPO, maghanap kayo ng GPO or pera outlet or kakilala. Pagkakatiwalaan niyo na hindi ka <laughs> Hindi ka isa scam. Maghanap ka ng sama na hindi ka masa scam. Yun lang yun masasabi ko guys. Siyempre, ingat lang po. So, swerte ka if you can, you have the requirements at makakapag-apply ka as GPO. That's good for you. Pero, kung hindi, then you'll have to find someone to do this for you. And dapat naiintindihan mo yung risks involved. To answer the question kung legit ba yung pag-convert ng GKIVs to GPO, yes. Pero, my pros, yes. My cons, Definitely. And these are things na kailangan mong i-consider bago ka magpa-convert. So, I hope meron kayo natutunan sa video na to guys. And, pasensya na kayo sa ingay. Have a good day. Bye!